Hello viewers, this is attorney Naresh M. Gehi from Gehi & Associates explaining the Parole in Place program. So first, I am going to give you a brief description in very simple language about what does the Parole in Place program. Because I believe that each one of you needs to understand the basics before you decide whether you're qualified or not. Number one. Parole in place applies to people who are married to U.S. citizens. Secondly, it applies to children of U.S. citizens. So forget the word green card completely. Second requirement is that the person should have entered into the country without permission, which actually means that you entered the country without having a visa but coming to the country by crossing the border and you you would have not been inspected probably you came into the country in a cargo airplane secondly you walked into the country from the border you were not inspected third you drove in into the US in a car and you were locked in the trunk that is not inspection as far as you were not inspected by an immigration officer that is something you need to know the next requirement is that you should have been physically present in the country before july 17 2024 means you should have been in america the next requirement is that you should not have a criminal record now let us see what they are going to say about the criminal record we want to know whether they mean a serious criminal record, like a serious misdemeanor or a felony, we do not know about that as of yet. We are going to know about this on August 19th, 2024. That's when the new program will become effective. The next thing is that the first thing they're going to do is you will have to apply for parole in place, which means that first what you're going to get is you'll have to get admitted as a parolee. Your parole has to be approved means yes, that you're eligible because you are meeting these Biden factors means the factors which I mentioned and after your parole is approved, then only you will be eligible to apply for a green card. Now, the next thing is something special that I'm going to give you here. We do not know how they are going to deal with cases wherein people have a deportation order. We do not know how they're going to deal with people who have who have, a, who have an order of voluntary departure. We still do not know about some of the things as to how they're going to deal with people who entered on someone else's passport in the country. Because in most cases, immigration does not recognize that entry and considers a fraudulent entry as a no entry into the United States. These are complicated issues. But as time goes on, I will keep you updated. But at this time, it is important for each one of you to meet up with seasoned immigration lawyers, go with good immigration attorneys, start reviewing your cases with those lawyers who know what they're doing. And if you have complications in your case, please try to do your best to hire some very good lawyers, especially because whenever there are complications, immigration looks at those cases very carefully.